So, brushing out Shelby's chest here with the metal comb. Make sure we have all the fur laying flat. And we have our scissors here. And we're going to cut down along the line of the chest. We're just cutting off all the little dead ends and um, extras that don't need to be there. And these are really good for that because you have to really try to make a hole with these. They've got lots of teeth. So it's just going to cut a little bit of hair. You can go up or you can go down. This just depends on the angle. I like to go both ways. And make sure you're combing in between so you can see where you're at. Right here we can see all this little choppy stuff so we can even that up. Make it look nicer down here between the legs. We're going to show you to trim Shelby's ears. First, you want to comb it out just like the chest underneath the ear too you can see and on top of the ear first what i like to do is i like to hold the ear stay true, hold the ear up and anything along the edge that's sticking out you can see we'll trim that off and that will outline here along the side of the ear then you can take it and you can see against your skin what what hairs need to come off. So you just take those off. And if the ear is too thick in here, you can go along the ear, make sure it's pointed down, and you can thin out this extra thick stuff on the ear. Then underneath, oh, shall we? <laughs> then underneath the ear, you can trim. Stay. You can trim this stuff off. All this brown, dead end hair. And that makes it look nicer when the ear's down. As you can see, this hair is straighter. And now we're gonna show the top of the head. Joy's wanna comb it forward. And then you can see all these extra little hairs. Ooh, I put my hand again so you can see through, maybe. Um, and you just want to take those off and that will just make their head look nice and round. You don't have to worry about taking too much or too little because this is just taking a barely amount of hair off. You're not going to make any holes with these unless you really, really cut in the same place over and over again. You want to make that as round as you can. After you comb all this hair off. Okay, so when you're trimming the top of the head, you want to trim all the hairs you can see through. So if you have a nice a flat background or something, that helps too. 
and you can just keep combing and trimming. If you see through any little hairs, you can trim all those off. And that will help you give get more of a nice round head too. And I'm not cutting down into the hair like this. I'm just cutting the very tips off. I can see right through. Shelby? Shelby, look, you want a cookie? Pretty good girl.